to introduce the man who's going to introduce the 2009 Distinguished Leadership Honoree, Thomas Hampson. Uh, Kareem Dale will be introducing him. Kareem once of Chicago and also founder of the Dale Law Group. He's now in the White House as a special assistant to President Obama for the arts and culture. He also has the huge task of advising President Obama on disability policy. The position on arts policy in the White House is actually a new one. And Mika, it is so important, and I think it's an important signal from President Obama about the importance of the arts, not only to this country, but to the world. You know, there have been staff members assigned to culture under past presidents, but they were usually in the First Lady's office. So this was a very big deal. And, as it was said when Kareem was named, a big step forward in connecting culture with mainstream government policy. Now, after Kareem introduces the winner of the Council's Distinguished Artist Award, rather than giving a speech, he's going to perform. And it's his gift to all of us as one of the world's greatest baritones. And if you're not silent at your tables at any other point of this evening, we know you will be then. In fact, I would sing right now to silence you, but it would have the opposite effect, I'm sure. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Kareem Dale. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for that great introduction. At the White House, as we always like to say, we love MSNBC. For far too long in this country, arts have been the program that is cut when things get difficult. For far too long in this country, arts have been an afterthought. For far too long in this country, arts have been treated as second class, and arts have not been viewed as integral to educating the youth of tomorrow. And for far too long, the arts have not been considered integral to building a prosperous and viable society. But the change that the president and the first lady talked about so eloquently during the campaign and during the transition and now in the administration, that change extends to the arts as well. Change is here as evidenced by the establishment of a position focused exclusively on the arts. Change is on the horizon as demonstrated by the president's continually and repeatedly mentioning the arts in education and health care speeches. Change is here, as illustrated by the awarding of the Library of Congress Award to Stevie Wonder. And change has come because of the fact that it is integral to educating our youth of tomorrow. And change most certainly is evident by the fact of the awarding of $50 million to the National Endowment for the Arts in the Stimulus Package. And that part of the stimulus is beginning to create jobs around the country, which is helping revive and rebuild and reshape our economy.